it started with a statement whatever you're ready. Ooh, it was nice to uh, you know get a win in overtime with with my team here and get them some experience and it was good to get back on the winning side of things being three and two. So real proud of our effort tonight. It was a team win. Total team win. Coach. Something we asked you about in pregame, uh, Jen Kaitel and Alo, you to totally seemed like you took her out of the game. Did what and just coach, if you both want to comment on it, what what it what it was like out there with her on the floor? It seemed like a really good job taking her out of the game plan completely. Yeah, I just think and I want her to speak a little bit because I was really proud of her. She really focused on the defensive end first, um, and, and and just didn't give her any breathing room. So I'd like for her to speak a little bit about. It. Um. Well, I just um. Because she was the um, leading star and rebound us. I was like, if we're going to win the game, I have to take her out of the game. I have to play good defense on her. And that was what I did each time she gets the ball. And I also understand that I can't get into foul trouble if um, we want to be in the game. So I just like just put my hands up whenever she gets the ball and just try to take her out of the game. Ayla, probably one of the first times you ever played 40 minutes in a game. Do you, you, you feel your conditioning is to that level and you can do that every day? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll answer that question. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll take her as long as both of these guys. I mean, Crystal was doing, Crystal was doing the 40 the other day, and the 40, you know, we just know that we got to have these guys fresh. We need their legs, and we have we have depth, and, and we're going to be gaining even more depth. Uh, as time moves forward, so we we know that we have some reinforcements. I think it's good, and they can play harder if they know they've got some people to come in. They can play harder. Um, so, I, but I'm obviously proud of both of them and their efforts tonight. Crystal, talk about a little struggle from the free throw line, but still keeping your head in there and hitting from beyond the arc a little bit. Um, yeah, it was a little bad day at the free throw line, um, but those are things that that we can work on on um, practice. Um, Coach K has been always been saying like just come to the gym and just shoot some free throws, make sure you get some free throws in, make sure you get some free throws in. So those are things that we can work on. And luckily I like made some shots on the arc, like you said, so I kind of balanced it in that way. So it wasn't that bad. Crystal, just ask you another question. No, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> 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 a for 20 has a dream. No, they know, but they, and it's good to laugh about it when you have the win, but you know, just not that I'm taking her thunder real quick, but we, we play so many different games, whether it's 70% free throw, whether it's 21 and five, whether it's seven in a row, five in a row, eight in a row, you know, they, it just comes down to confidence. And, and I think that's where they have to keep, you know, they, have to keep they have to keep digging in and don't give in to that <coughs> self-doubt. I mean, you guys know how, how mental the game is. And, you know, I, we always talk about that a lot. We talk about having that self-doubt. It's, it's human nature, you're gonna have a little bit of it, but with high athletes and elite performers, they don't give in to when that self-doubt pops in their head. So, I mean, that's just that, that's that maturity that we're continuing working on. You're fighting those demons of that self-doubt because you could do that a hundred times. You know your muscle memory. You know you can make free throws. Um, you know, they just got to step up and knock them down. And that's about as simple as that. You know, we can shoot a thousand a day. You got to make it when it's on the line. And our freshman did. Ashne did. She did. And so, you know, we, gotta, we, we can all do it. So. Crystal, the last minute of that second half, uh, you're the most important player out there. You get the assist to Alo on that leaner, and then you help draw that foul. Just take me through both of those plays, especially that, that you draw on the foul that helped uh, help you get the possession of the ball back. Well, um, I basically saw Elo like open on the roll, so I, if Elo is open on the ball, you gotta give it the ball. Um, like she's gonna make it, so you just gotta trust your players. Um, as point guard, you just gotta trust your players. If she's open. You just gotta give her the ball because she's gonna make it. Mm -hmm. And if not, just next play, and we're gonna get back, and we're gonna get a stop, and next play, you're gonna make it. So you just gotta trust your players. And on, as on the defensive part, um, I will. I mean, it was a good defensive stop. Um, really good yeah. Um, you're talking about the one that I took the charge on. The yes. Well, uh, yeah. You were going two. going towards the bench. Uh, it, it, it was tied. It was tied. At, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. they like they the post players always like to push me out of the. Yeah. Um, out of the screen, so I always like, you know, like show up a little bit so that like the ref will like call it. Mm. So, I mean, it was a good stop. Um, so, I was really excited, it was a pretty exciting um, play. So, yeah, Coach and Crystal, how does Darius fall? You as a player on the court, and just you as a coach to have that extra depth? Mm. Well, you go first. She's really good, she's <laughs> really athletic, um, strong, she's really smart. Um, so, it's really, really good to have like some help at the point because um, when we're together on the on the court 
even like if I don't have the ball and she got the ball, I'll I'll play the two or she'll play the two. So it's really good to have her on the court because she's really 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 good player. And a step further on that, you just have two two good decision makers um, that really are two similar <coughs> players that can find people, and that's what as as they begin to play even more together, you'll you'll start seeing the benefits of what they do, whether they can create and find, they can attack the sag, you can play them in different ways. They're not afraid to attack the sag. They spent their whole life attacking somebody sagging or, or different types of defensive schemes. So you just get a little bit more headiness um, along with all the other athleticism and strength and physicality that you get. So it's a, it's it's nice. I mean, it's really nice. And then they can help. I mean, because Crystal can defend, but it also helps, you know, Darius can be, then get on the next best, you know, defensive player. In a normal scenario, we probably would have had Darius on two. The only issue that was happening was they were posting up so much. Mm -hmm. So you just really couldn't gamble on that. You know, it would have been nice to, you know, so we, we've, we've got to keep developing players um, that can help when we need to switch, you know, and, and put different people when Crystal even needs a break. We can you know, change that up defensively. So we have a lot to a work to continue doing. But at the end of the day, it was nice to um, be in a tough game against some veteran players be up on a lead and be be them them taking the lead, you know, and trying to have that sustainability that I thought that they did and they didn't get down and they didn't let that wave go away. And that's that maturity. That's probably the biggest element of our development is that right there. Um, so we had a lead, we lost the lead, we fought back, obviously got into overtime, and then we handled the overtime. Even we handled a blow when a kid hit a three. Those are the blows that are going to happen. It's how we respond to them. So that's the stuff that we just keep preaching because um, that's the growth that has to be fast. We have to have that growth fast so we can get a lot of dubs up as we keep going forward. Hey, Lo, what is, is it like for you to be the go-to player now? You don't have Anma and Yuku there as the safety net anymore. <clears throat> um, I'm, uh, I don't really know. Well, I think, as we, I think in her mind, we don't look at it that way. You know, and I think that's the biggest thing, and I think that's what keeps this team good. We know we have a lot of rising, just talented players that splash off the page. Um, you know, and we know what she brings down low. But but tonight you saw her not force it. She didn't get one walk tonight. She didn't try to force it when they were drawing the house and she was kicking it out. So, I mean, I just think she, you know, and it's, like I said, she has a lot of reinforcements coming too. So she, she gets it. She gets it and doesn't put all that pressure on herself. Um, I thought we saw a lot of growth in her today. She focused on the defensive end. She took her time on the offense, and she finished like really good to the basket tonight. And then found her teammates too. You know, I mean, we're just such a just a good balanced team with a, with a, with a lot of help and a, just an obviously outstanding post presence. So, and point guard presence. So we have this nice mix. Okay. I mean, not, you know, she just uh, uh, you know that's she just wants to win. <laughs> she cares about winning more. <laughs> Fair statement, right? Coach, not to go away from the positive. Kelly Loftus, two from 11, 0 for 6 from the three pointer. What'd you see from her tonight? I just tell, I've kept telling her to keep shooting, and I just think that's that, that's the growth that she's just got to have. And um, you know, I just, you know, I, we had to do some things defensively because you know, if if you struggle a little bit offensively, you can't let it affect you on the defensive end. And that's just going to be that growth with Kelly. Uh, we don't stop believing in her. If we had to make that last three, I was on the bench saying, get ready to go. You know, you. You know, she has that within her, and then that's the part that she just can't, you know, give in, you know, give in to that self-doubt, too. So we're in that same same conversation. So it's part of the game. <laughs> Alo, what's the difference in your game at this point, at this time last year to right now? What has been, uh, like, the transition for you, like, in your in your mind, your confidence? Uh, we can see it out there. What's it been like? What's the transition been like for you? Um, I mean, it's been... Um, it's been kind of tough, you know, like, because um, things when people try to tell me you got to do this and do that, like, you have to go to your left more. I just focus on going to my left, then I have to work on getting back to my right. And Coach K is kind of making it more easier for me because she wants me to just post down low to make an easy basket instead of trying to, like, make it more difficult for myself on the blog. So I think that's what, um, that's my big transition right now. Well, post play and not um, catching the ball so far away, make it more easy. Just turn around and shoot. So it's been a good one. Still working on it. So. And Alo, uh, I think you hit the uh, mid-range jumper to tie it up at 49. Is that another skill you're adding to your belt? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> she, already, she already had that one when she came in. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta, you, she already had that one when she came in. So. Yeah, she did. Yeah. She used to hit those. We decided to get her into the basket. Yeah. That was she used to hit those every time. Yeah. yeah, that was her go-to.
So we've been trying to grow her game. But you got Asia. So I think I think what you guys got to understand is that how much we can make everybody else play better around our post presence, and that's what that's when we're going to be really good um, when everybody starts you know bringing their value because Asia hit some big shots for us tonight, and even though she's struggling every now and then with some silly calls here every now and then she's trying to get better on, but she came out and defended. Um, didn't have great numbers, but she was the catalyst for us to step up where Kelly was struggling a little bit. And she, defensively, she focused in on that. So the more that we can keep developing our guards, you know, the better we're going to be as a team. So we appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.